Today on No Mac No Cheese, we're going to be talking about the cockroach of flashes. The Vivitar 285. The Vivitar 285 is a great flash. I call it the cockroach because you really cannot kill these things. They're everywhere and they're just amazing. They have a couple little features. They have the zoom, wide, normal, and telephoto. It's got a slot here where you can put in gels and filters and everything like that. It also has a sensor right here. And if you can see it, it's manual, which is full power, half power, quarter power, one sixteenth power. It's got those manual mode settings. It's also got four automatic mode settings, purple, blue, red, and yellow. I'm not going to go into these, um, at least not today, but I can talk to you more about them. That's what this dial here is for. The first thing I want to talk about is really the power, how to power these things. You set this on a full power flash here. On the back of the camera when it's on, you'll see it flashing red and green. This is one of the new versions. Uh, the old versions have a little different look here, but they work exactly the same. And they take four AA batteries. Um, real simple to use. Plug it in. Now when you're running on AA's, takes a while to, to recharge. I'm going to do a power here, full power. And we have to wait for that to start blinking again that same way. Red means it's almost ready. Green means it can shoot. And when it's blinking like that, it's fully charged. So pretty long wait with the double A's. One thing I've done, thanks to Al Jacobs, so I've actually created my own little power pack. This over here. This here is the same AA battery holder, but I've modified it here. I've drilled a hole through this. Got two little half-inch wooden dowels with a couple screws on the top, and the wires, can, you know, going through there, and they actually attach to these screws. A uh, little bit of drill work, not hard. Drill holes through there, drill holes down through there, and make sure they touch. Okay. So this actually replaces those double A's, which is a good thing. Once you get it in right, these are actually designed. They have a little sharp corner here and rounded corners everywhere else, so you can't put it in backwards. Uh, the way to tell which ones to use inside here, you probably can't see it. Two of the connectors, or two of the middle things in there are not connected. Uh, you'll know if you get it wrong because it'll start smoking and howling or it just won't work. So. On this one, it's to the left. So now I have this cord, which I got at Home Depot for like 30 cents a foot. Went to Radio Shack, got myself a little uh, RCA plug, and this, the positive, goes to the tip, and the negative goes to the outer ring. Uh, this is like 39 cents, so I think so far I'm at like two bucks. Now, to have something to connect to this, I made this uh, power pack. I can't take credit for this. This is from Al Jacobs, but I did my own little thing here. I put a little bit of wood. This is just medium density fiberboard. Get it at Home Depot for practically nothing. Uh, I put that around this to give it a little structure. This is actually a $3 camera bag from Walmart. This here is a universal battery. It's a uh, sealed lead acid, just like in your car. Extremely heavy duty, uh, 4.5 amp hours versus, you know, we're talking hours worth of power versus um, milliamps. These are 2,600 milliamps. So side by side, they'd be rated 2.6 versus 4.5 but these are actually rated under load where these are not, so these last a lot longer. These are $10 at Home Depot. You can go to the emergency lighting section. Um, don't ask, they have no idea what you're asking for. Um, but you want to find 
6 volts, so we'll say 6V, and you want 4.5 amp hours. Not real big, um, but it, it'll look like this, something like this. Make sure you get a fresh one too, if they're dated in 2002, obviously you want something newer than that. On the top here, there's two different colors. You have red, which is the positive, black, which is the negative. So I just soldered. If you don't know how to solder, find somebody that does. It's real easy to do. Just ran those wires up through here. And here I got a female RCA port, which connects straight to this. And since, you know, we line it up. Center is positive. This outer rim is negative. I attached mine to this hardboard so it doesn't move around a lot. That's what these do, give it something to sit on. Um, Radio Shack does sell them uh, just like this, so you, you don't necessarily have to have this board here. I just wanted to make it a little neater. So Now I have this battery pack. Uh, if you want, you can go to Al Jacobs' website. He sells what's called the, what he calls the tuxedo battery and the black box, which the black box is very similar to this, and the tuxedo is a little bit smaller version, very easy to slip in your coat. Um, I zip it up partially to help keep everything nice and tight, and I just plug it in. The nice part about this is it's got a little flap here and a connector so I can wrap it around whatever light stand I'm using. And you, you'll know you got it right when the thing comes on. I'm going to give you an idea of how much faster this recycles. Now this battery I used all weekend at a wedding. So I've probably done I don't know, several hundred images with this at least. Uh, so recycle time a little slower than normal but still you know, a lot faster. Yeah, let's compare it again. A's, which are com completely fresh. Okay. okay. So, like I said, this one's at least half dead. These are brand new. You can see this is still beating it. Now to charge this, a while ago I found this at Radio Shack. I don't believe they sell it anymore, but you can still order it online. I'll see if I can put a link in there on the website. Uh, you're going to want to look for 6 volt and a sealed lead acid. So only something that can be used with lead acid. Uh, this is nice because it's got a fast charge. And then once it's topped off, you know, once it's fully charged, it goes to a trickle state. And these usually come with two clips on the ends here. This will give you an idea. This is a... I actually cut those off and soldered a, a regular port so I can just plug it right in. You know, just to charge it. This is all you have to do. Again, very similar to the other one. Your tip to the center there. Oops, I can get that. And that's your edge. So your tip is positive, your edge is negative. By the way, make sure you put this on before you solder that together, otherwise fit it over it. Learn from experience. So, anyway, it makes it very simple. Um, the ones I've seen online, you can get these for about 20 bucks. So, all in all here, I got about $5 here, 10 for the battery, a couple bucks there, 12 like maybe $15 here. So, you can have extreme reliability. Uh, life forever, practically, um, all for under 40 bucks. 